What's good everybody? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. You might be wondering why I'm having my hands like this and why I'm so up close. I wish I got my reaction, that's all I have to say. Today I walked into my room with a crazy surprise. I just got to my dad's house, set my stuff down, walked into my room to this right here. I just hit 40,000 subscribers baby, let's go! I am so grateful for this guy's face. You guys don't even get the full effect. The ground is so crazy. It doesn't show up that great on camera. Now before I go on, I just want to thank you guys so, 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 so much. Literally, just the other day, I hit 38,000 subscribers, and now we're at 40K. Thank you guys so much. But since these are helium balloons, we might have to do a little something, something. I just hit 40K on YouTube, baby, let's go! Oh my god, Jessica, I don't know why you're with him. Well, I mean, he's so cute, and uh, I just love his personality. All right, enough of that. I'm getting lightheaded. All right, guys, now before I go on to this video, I kind of want to give you guys some pointers about this upcoming year, kind of goals that I want to happen for this year. I've been brainstorming, I'm making a website, and I really want to start making merch. Now, I'm not really going to tell you guys on what it's going to look like, but just know it's going to be something unique. It's going to be something that no other YouTubers really done. And I want to put my own little twang on each and every one of the shirts or hoodies or whatever it is. I don't want to just have it for like the YouTube factor, like the YouTubers factor of it. No, it's not going to be like, you know, knocking off another brand or anything like that. I really want it to be original, but also up to date with, you know, like urban fashion and stuff like that. All right guys, so recently Hypebeast has been a huge keyword on YouTube. Well, Hypebeast unboxings pretty much. Today I got you a Hypebeast unboxing, but it's not your average Hypebeast unboxing. This right here is gonna be me unboxing some of the biggest Hypebeast prank videos that not a lot of people seen. And I think these videos should be appreciated a little bit more than they have. I'm gonna open this box for you guys and show you guys some of the craziest pranks that I've done on YouTube. First off, this prank right here. And this is like the first hype beast prank that I've ever done on the channel, which it was actually extremely risky for me doing it. It was my first sneaker con, and I thought it was a good idea that I should bring garage sale stickers, you know, like the $1, the 50 cents, stuff like that. I thought it was a good idea to go around to people's shoes at sneaker con and place those stickers on their shoes. So people walk up and think that the shoe is only a dollar. How much are these? 200. Why does it say 75 cents on this? And they weren't 75 cents? <laughs> oh, I thought you were offering up a deal. Hey bro, how, how much are these guys right here? Uh, 110. 110? Yeah, and, size 11. And you said that these guys were 50 cents? <laughs> oh, yo. Wait, what? Those weren't 50 cents? No, bro. Oh, I never <laughs> Selling them for 25 cents? <laughs> hey bro, how, how much are these right here? Uh, honestly, it's probably like $2.50. $2.50? Yeah, that's what I paid. And you, you want two bucks for these guys right here? Uh, those are five and a half. So, uh, these two, are... Two bucks? <laughs> uh, it's a hundred. hundred? They weren't two bucks? No. Alright, never mind. Man. I think someone just put the tag. Oh, alright. This was actually pretty risky because some people don't want their shoes touched, which I understand that. I w if I'm selling shoes, I don't want some punk little kid putting stickers on my shoes. There was this one guy who we didn't end up throwing in the video. He was just sitting by himself, kind of a shady dude. Maybe we did throw him in the video, I forget. He was only selling probably about maybe eight sneakers, and I thought it was a good idea to Boop, pop one of the 50 cent stickers on a pair of his Jordans. I was trying to do it secretively when I placed the sticker on it, but that, it, I didn't do it that secretively. Well, let's just say he saw me and he did not like that very much. He gave me like the death stare. You know that stare that your mom gives you when you forgot to take out the trash and there's like three trash bags already sitting by the garbage because it's overflowing? That's the look that this guy gave me. So I kind of just ripped the sticker off and said, sorry mom. Now the reason why I did this prank is because I see a lot of sneaker YouTubers going to sneaker con and it's kind of like the same exact vlog every time. Just a different shoe or something. So I wanted to change it up and have a little fun while I was at SneakerCon. On to the next prank. <laughs> this one right here, this prank 
was probably one of my favorites. But this really showed like what SneakerCon was all about. You know, like meeting your favorite YouTubers, getting to see all these amazing shoes. My objective for this prank was I was gonna have Kais Omar sign over his entire sneaker collection to me. But not just did I get Kais, I also got Blake Linder, Just Win, Blake Linder's dad, name brand, and JC from Urban Necessities. So listen, Kais is behind me right now, but little does he know. I made this just for you, man. This is dope. Just for you. Hey, you sure about this though? What, did you prank me or something? Hey, everybody! Thank I got you, you guys something to sign right here. Oh, wow. Yeah. You like those? <laughs> Are you guys like sure about this? About what? About this? You probably have me sign like some contract that says we're giving you my channel, huh? Listen, man. Hey, bro, how you doing? Oh, no, oh, man. I'll recognize you, bro. Not a TV. Okay, okay, you get you. Oh, oh. Did you sign it? Yeah, yeah man. you did. Dude, dude, is this one? You can spend any one you want. Wait. So, wait, are you guys sure about this? <laughs> <laughs> I get your entire sneaker collection. Oh no! All right. <laughs> Is that cool? Uh. <laughs> that was definitely an awesome prank. I don't know if that's like the first thing you should do when you meet somebody is prank them, but that's what I did for all those guys. Next inside the box, we got this one right here. <laughs> this one's pretty lit. This video right here, since my last two pranks worked out at SneakerCon, I thought, why don't I just do another prank at the next SneakerCon? Seems legit, right? SneakerCon California, that's what it was. I ended up acting like I was gonna interview all the sneaker YouTubers for my channel. Little did they know, I had no questions to ask. <laughs> What's up? What? <laughs> What's your favorite part about SneakerCon? Uh, just mingling and talking to everyone who watches our videos and getting to know them on, on a one-to-one -one basis, pretty much. Am I supposed to put it in my mouth or what? <laughs> I'm here with the sneak Blake Linder, shoe tuber. When are you gonna start the diet? Um, I actually started my diet a week ago. I've been just drinking water, which I'm really proud of myself that. I'm not really on a diet diet, I'm just watching what I eat kind of, so no pizza, unfortunately. Maybe that's why I lost. It's because I, I didn't have pizza, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, the old classic, not really interviewing an interview. So I made this some of the awkwardest interviews ever. Everybody was great. There was one person who I'm not gonna name and I did not throw them in there. They didn't like me doing it at all and they actually prevented me from interviewing Somebody else. I didn't argue, I didn't get defensive about it, I just kind of left SneakerCon and still had a great video out of it. Next vi- oh, this, this one is good. This video right here, this wasn't really a prank, this was just more about the- What the f- When you see something like this, you, you just don't know what to think. This one wasn't at a sneaker con, this was in my hometown Detroit at the Michigan Sneaker Exchange. I ended up getting sneaker boxes and I stacked them on top of each other. No, there was not any sneakers in it, but I also pinned and duct taped the boxes together, but you couldn't see that they were pinned or duct taped. We got Connor Kiki uh, in sneakers from the world. What up, Connor? The funniest part ever was walking into the place. If you've ever been to any sneaker event, they do have normally like security at the entrance. They like, you know, check your boxes, check your bags, just stuff like that. Security saw me with all these boxes and they wanted to check each and every one. They were all taped together and we couldn't open each and every one. My dad at the time, he was with me. He's like, you know what, forget it. Let's just go. They're not going to let us in. Forget it. But then the guy who hosts the event, which I forget his name right now, and I'm, I'm extremely sorry, he ended up seeing us at the door, and he's like, whoa, 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 that's Connor. He's just messing around. He's just messing around. So he knew, and he ended up letting me get in. <laughs> that was the coolest thing ever, just being able to bring all these boxes in. And I feel like it didn't really get around that much because it wasn't at, like, you know, a sneaker con. So maybe I might bring it to the next sneaker con. You may not, may not know. I don't know. Woohoo! Upcoming sneaker con. Watch out! 
guys, that's gonna wrap up the box. And I just wanna thank you guys so much again for 40,000 subscribers. I am giving away a pair of Yeezys at 50,000 subscribers. Now these last few days you guys might have not known because I still posted. I was sick is flip and I'm just now getting over I think it was the flu all I know I was in my bed for like two days straight I kind of just crawled around the house you know how that feels you know when you're like crawling and you're like <gasps> Gatorade popsicles ramen noodles yeah that was that was pretty much me but I'm finally starting to get over it I still feel a little sick but I'm feeling better I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you one more time for 40,000 subscribers I'm never gonna stop making videos. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Oh, and by the way, happy Valentine's Day. I hope all you ladies got your little chocolates and I hope you guys got some. What is this? I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Deuces.